Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you a solution to make your GoPro Max weatherproof while connected to external power. So stay tuned. All right guys, so today I'm going to show you a solution to keep your GoPro Max 360 weatherproof when you have it connected to external power like this power bank here. So 3BR Power Sports came out with a all-weather external power kit. Uh, this is the uh, X-Power Max. They have other ones uh, similar to this for the GoPro 7, uh, 9, 10, 11, and then also the Session. And I believe they also just made one also for the Insta360, the X2 and the X3. But they recently just came out with this uh, GoPro Max one, which is, I've been waiting for this for a long time just because uh, there was a solution that um, Ulanzi came out with, with the door that would allow you to connect external power. But the problem with that door is that it was not uh, weatherproof at all. It actually didn't even really fit properly. Um, there was a way to make it um, water or weatherproof with, um, using some silicone putty, but you know, that's just kind of an annoying thing. You have to keep doing that every time you take off the door. But now 3BR Power Sports has this great solution that keeps it uh, nice and uh, weatherproof and you don't have to worry about it. So now I won't have a problem, you know, using this in the rain or, you know, when I'm on the kayak and, you know, water splashes on it. Um, I won't have the fear of ruining my camera because I did actually do that to my, um, GoPro 9. I used it with the uh, GoPro pass-through door and it was during a fishing trip where it was in the rain. So we were going like 20 to 30 miles an hour with the rain. It was like pelting the side where the uh, water would come in. Water did actually get in there because um, I don't think it was intended for it to have water, you know, constantly, you know, pounding on it, you know, from going that fast, but more so, you know, just drops of water just kind of dropping on it. But anyways, um, you'd still have that similar problem with the uh, GoPro Max. But now with this 3BR solution, I think uh, you won't have that problem at all. Um, just keep in mind that this is weatherproof. It is not waterproof. So what that means is that it can take, you know, water trickling down onto it and it is not intended uh, to be submerged. So make sure you keep that in mind. So it does actually keep it weatherproof on this end. Um, there is actually another solution that they have to make it waterproof on the other end with the USB cable. I'm actually going to be getting um, those very soon. So I'll show you how to make this connection weatherproof in a future video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, you don't just have to use a power bank. You could also use a battery like here. This is a Nakwa. Uh, battery and then also even Bixby has um, their own power sources as well. So you can use really anything to connect to your GoPro. Uh, you just need to get the appropriate cable for that. But um, I'll show you that in a future video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. So now I'm going to take you guys in a little bit closer to give you a better look at the 3BR Power Sports X Power Max. All right guys, so here is the uh, 3BR Power Sports X Power Max frame. This is the frame itself. What it comes with is the frame. Uh, comes with a cable. You get to select the cable um, that you want to use. I got the uh, 66 inch, but you can get a 9, 18, 36, 48 as well. But I got the longer one because one of the mounts I'm going to be using is actually fairly long. So that's why I got this one. And then it also comes with the hardware as well other additional mounting hardware this is a quarter 20 so if you want to install this on like a, a traditional tripod you can do that so you have the little allen wrench in it to unscrew the screws here because it's got little hex screws here um, it also has the gopro type mount which is what i have on here right now i'm using this because uh, of course you know i'm all the mounts that i have or most of them are selfie sticks have a GoPro style mount like this one. So that's why I'm using this. But you could also, if you want to, you can take the uh, mount piece off and then use the feet that are on the uh, GoPro Max. But 
The reason why I want to use the one that's mounted on is because I can leave the uh, 3VR mount on this uh, selfie stick and then I can take my um, GoPro out of it and leave all this attached. Or if I use the feet that are on the GoPro, then I would actually have to um, unscrew it from the mount and then take the GoPro out of this mount. So it's really just more for a convenience for me. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to put the GoPro into the, the frame itself. Um, as you can see here with the, the frame, just opens up like so. And then it has a little thumb screw here. Uh, you can pull up this little piece right here. It actually goes flush and then you can pull it up and then you can use this to be able to turn it. So you don't need the, you know, tools for it. And then here also on the side, which is pretty nice, is uh, there's actually a uh, mount here. So you could put a microphone there or, you know, whatever you want. So based on the way it's oriented this way, on the left side, that's actually where your um, mode and power button would sit in. And then on this side, this is where, so this is actually where you'd feed your cable through and then the USB-C would connect right into the uh, charging port of your GoPro Max. So one of the first things you do have to do is take off the GoPro Max door. So we're just gonna open it as you normally would. Just So just pull that down wait until you see the red and then now you can flip open the cover and to take it off, all you have to do is just continue to pull the cover back and it'll actually disengage like so. So now it's off and now the piece that's gonna go into the charging port uh, is this piece right here. Um, you can see it's got this little pad here. And this is actually uh, the part that makes everything waterproof. Cause now, as you can see, there is the battery and the port. When you plug this in like so, you can see the pad actually covers uh, the battery completely. And then when you put it inside of the frame itself, um, the frame is gonna actually lock down and then even push the pad even more into um, this area and it will make everything uh, weatherproof, not waterproof. So it's, it can't be um, submerged, but it'll handle, you know, rainfall and such. So that's perfect for me because, you know, I'll be using this mostly on my kayak and boat where, you know, we get splashed with water and such. So the first thing we got to do, um, uh, with the uh, cable piece and the little pad is that we have to feed that through this upper piece right here. You can see actually the, the pad will fit right into the top and then it'll slide down nicely here. You can see there, it'll slide right down. So it'll rest just like that and then plug right into your GoPro Max. All right, so the first thing you wanna do now that we have the, the cable fed um, through the frame itself is you want to just seat your GoPro Max into the frame. You can see how I have it open like so. I'm just going to seat it right in and you'll feel that, you know, it actually will fit, you know, nicely um, into the frame itself. So I could feel that and then now I'm going to pull up this side here and then we're going to just take the cable and plug that right in. So now the cable is plugged in. You can see the pad is on there and then now just close this side and just make sure that the pad is still on there and seated nicely. And as you can see, it actually closes very nicely. So now we just have to line up the screw with the hole on this side. So to line up everything nicely, you do have to kind of squeeze the mount together and then you can start trying to screw it in just so you can make sure that screw gets lined up correctly with the hole. So I'm just gonna screw that down until it's pretty tight. So now you can see the GoPro Max is in the mount. That cable is in there pretty solid. And now we have a uh, weatherproof connection to the GoPro Max. And we can, you know, deal with, in my case, I'm gonna have water splashing over from my kayak or, you know, from my boat or even when it's raining, um, I won't have a problem with uh, getting water in it. So that's great. Um, let me show you. I'm going to just attach it to my selfie stick for now. Just so you can see how it fits on there. 
So here's my selfie stick. And it should fit perfectly on there since it's a GoPro mount. Put it right on. And you can see it fits nicely on the selfie stick. Uh, let me go ahead and get some power to the GoPro. For power, I usually use a power bank. This is just an anchor power bank. I've actually had better success with um, anchor power banks um, not uh, overheating or freezing uh, my GoPros. Um, I've had issues when I use some um, non-name brand ones and then you know I found the anchors work uh, pretty well. So now I've got it plugged in. You can see the anchor is, I don't know if you can see that through the camera, but it is on. You can see the blue lights there and you can see the GoPro is charging. Let's turn her on. But now you can see that the uh, GoPro Max is charging. So now I have extended power now to my GoPro Max and then I'll be able to record, you know, during long time frames for time lapses or what have you. Uh, the other great thing with the Max having this frame because it is a metal um, frame is that it will actually help dissipate heat. So any concerns about overheating the uh, 3BR Power Max frame can also help dissipate the heat because it's metal. So it'll actually draw the heat, you know, out of the camera and uh, keep it cool. So that's actually another great use for the uh, 3BR uh, mounts. All right, guys, so that was a look at the 3BR Power Sports X Power Max frame and kit. I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this. I haven't used it yet, but I will be using it in a few days. If I have any issues with it or problems, I'll let you guys know in a future video. But you can also follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, where I'll do uh, more live updates on you know things that I do. And if I have any issues with the camera, you'll see that there as well. So if you're interested in the X Power Max mount, I'll provide a link to it in the description below. And pretty much everything I use in all of my videos will be in the, the description below. So make sure you guys check those out. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.